want to hear from the police officer. I want to hear what he was really thinking. A grandmother wants answers after an Akron police officer shot her 15-year-old grandson who had a fake gun. We want to warn you, the video just released today by the city of Akron may be tough for you to watch. It shows what happened one week ago. The teenager was hit in the hand and survived. The officer is on paid leave while state investigators review that shooting. News 5 investigator Tara Morgan spoke with the teen's grandmother who's shaken and angry. The shooting happens in just seconds. Can I see your hands real quick? Shots fired! Shots fired! It's fake! It's fake! It's fake! It's the Akron officer showed up on Britton Road near Ottawa Avenue the evening of April 1st after a 911 call about a guy pointing a gun at homes. He pulled it out and was like acting like he was going to shoot their houses um, as he was walking by. Karen Robinson is the grandmother of 15-year-old Tavion Kuntz Williams, the teen who was shot. Robinson says her grandson is out of the hospital with his mom but can hardly sleep. And I'm angry, very angry, that my grandson has to go through this for the rest of his life. In the video released by the city of Akron, while screaming in pain and with blood running down his wrist, you can hear the teen tell officers he was coming from his cousin's funeral and his granny lives down the street. I'm a good kid, bro. I get A's in school. I play football. The teen says over and over, the gun is a fake. In a portion of the video edited by the city of Akron, a red circle is used to highlight something that's hard to make out. He has no understanding. He feels like he did something wrong. Police are not talking about the shooting. The attorney for Tavion's family says the teen was shot while unarmed with his hands up, doing everything he possibly could have done to be safe. Robinson spoke with her grandson she described as a fun kid. I believe that he was uh, just being a boy. We are not naming the officer since he has not been charged or disciplined in the shooting. According to his personnel file, the officer was fired in July 2021 for several policy violations, including for a time when he was extremely drunk while off duty and muzzling a gun at his girlfriend and admitted he did similar things while in Florida. The officer got his job back months later and given his original 71 day suspension for the violations. Robinson wants to see a charge filed for shooting her grandson. Why? It wasn't necessary. 